ready for the major? No! I said, are you ready for the Anna Major? First up, our first team. It's like TNT. They're explosive, and you're about to see them. Ladies and gentlemen, TNC! C Predator. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for evil geniuses? Last pick, that means it's going to be the Viper in the off lane. Yeah, yeah. It, this is the dream carry profit game. Uh, even though I think they've exclusively played at mid, Puck doesn't really have many terrible matchups. Like, it can hold its own against basically everything. A Bok is taking quite a beating here. Yep, fly. Another Earth Spike. This, I believe, is the third one with the Fable. Oh, the Body Artezi, blocks. The right clicks are enough. Really become annoying. Oh, Fly's uh, in trouble to be able here. To push. Yeah. You can see Arteezy TPing back as Fly. Oh. All right, that was a little bit of a wrap around there. Bach. Looks like he's going to back off for now, but the Sprout being used for a little bit of vision here. Now Bach taking some right clicks from Arteezy. Not going to be enough quite yet. Does get the vision in the end, though, and that will be a kill for Arteezy. I don't know. There's been a little bit. I don't know if it's because they haven't played it so much. Oh, oh, oh that is unexpected yes. from Gabby. I don't know. They, they haven't played very much Rubik, at least not in the playoffs here. Uh, just seem a little bit not on the same page with how exactly they want to handle uh, this. Coil, Abe, you can see that ult from Arteezy coming in with crits, right clicks to help out. He's actually going to survive for now. Gets up a nice LSA, but with Fly here to help out, that is going to be a dead Lina. We have the Tier 1 tower to start things out here for Arteezy. Of course, this is the benefit of having somebody that, you know, can just TP all across the map. You have a lot of catch, you have a lot of push potential. And it looks like they're gonna try to get some kill potential onto Boom. Oh, like that's gonna the be spear. a very easy kill. Yeah, Bach missing that spear, uses that arena. They're gonna kill Gabby again. Very nicely done from EG, and they have the numbers here. Looks like Mars is gonna be next. Bach getting slowed down to a crawl. They finally take out Boomy. That was a little bit of a delayed kill, but regardless, three going the way of EG. Wrapping around on a level six offlaner, mind you. Uh, very far ahead, oh, and they're going to go for it right away. Bach, yep. Oh, another Toxin. Okay, they didn't really uh, coordinate that perfectly, but it doesn't really matter when you have this kind of a lead for EG. Correct pronunciation, technically speaking, of Aegis is Aegis. This, it's a literal word. We're going to see a jump in on the Gabby again. The silence is still be enough. And the absolutely another death for Morphling. This is not a hero you want to die on this many times. 
especially at this type of a stage. We have a Mars Arena used for defensive capability. Viper Strike is applied for now. Mana Drain on the other side of the wall with the break applied as well. Bach still slow to a crawl. I feel like we've seen this before. Armel is on the other side, though, in the high ground as Tim's getting surrounded and brought down by EG. As they seem to be everywhere right now. Spear does connect in the ice, ice, ice. They might be able to turn this around onto Armel instead. This is a bigger kill than on Bach. We beat Execration, I think, 17 0. Do you know who was on that Execration team? Uh, who? Abed. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's right. You were talking. He this. learned from that. And he is now applying it to his own games, and that's going to be. Now, even yeah. with the attribute Fifth. shift going off for that long, yet Zero. another death. Boomy. He hey, has the ulti. He's got his ultimate this on time. On Abaddon. Abaddon is dead. But so is Rubik, and oh this is a goodness. shellacking of a lifetime. Stay very good against Earth Spirit and Puck itself. Notice how I said itself. I think Slice is very proud of me. That's lore accurate. Here we yeah, go. There's the roll. Again, crit, but the attribute shift did go off. Coil onto two. Avanon trying to do as much as he can to save his poor carrying Gabby. That is the 20th unanswered kill thus far for EG. And make it 21. Okay. I mean, as I expect, I went into this series saying I think TNC are the favorites, and they're showing why <laughs> in this game. Wait, what did Kyle predict? Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't get to listen to I that I think segment. Kyle didn't get to predict, and that's why the game is <laughs> cursed. I see, I see. Oh, now Bach, he's going to take a Viper Strike with a Kuro. Oh, my God, he just gets blown up. This is not remotely close. I, I don't even know how to hype this. 23 to 0. So a tall order. All right, I have a feeling TNC's going to get a kill here. You're not going to go on Viper first and get away with this. I have a this. feeling Bach, all right, he gets off the Mars Arena. And yeah, not a lot of damage being done by Ice Ice Ice, but there's the LSA. This is the first kill of the game for TNC. Can they turn it around? Rubik dies, buys back. Armel getting right clicked despite being in the BKB inside that Sprout as well. He'll be brought down very shortly by Arteezy. Double kill for him. And now Gabby on the run has to waveform away. Boomy, same story, but different result. Looks like he'll be taken out by the right clicks of Arteezy again. So it's a four for one with the buyback coming out on the Rubik. Like the discrepancy is huge. Mm -hmm. But we've seen comebacks. We have. Like let's forget about the score Chris line for Smoke a second. Broke. All right, this oh, is this won't be read. good for uh, TNC. And yeah, that's another death for Gabby. I'm trying to sit, think of a silver lining here, Cinder. Is there any way? It's a best of three. Yeah, there's there's that another is game. That's a silver to play. lining. Imagine this was a best of one. That would be very sad. Yes. I mean, he definitely doesn't want to be the second person to die this game, so he made sure that he got that one. As, okay, he's going to get speared into the range racks, into the LSA. Mars Arena to follow. Can they actually take out Arteezy? Well, they're going to take out Mars first. Crit, okay, he will be the second kill of the game for TNC. As now Boomy gets the Aphotic Shield off. Arteezy pops back up with that Aegis three, being two, used. 3-2-2. Two. Oh, 3-2-3. Three, three. Very close. Yeah, that was a split-second decision. We'll have to get an instant replay of that scoreline for sure, as Arteezy and Abed are just cleaning up. I believe GG's will be called here shortly, as is now officially 36 to 3, and I think that's where we'll probably end. All right, GG's are called! 36 Unbelievable to game by EG. 36 to 3 and Megas. To be honest, they are a little bit deceiving. Yeah, <laughs> it's deceiving, like I said. <laughs> so EG handling business here today, and that what was... A, what a stomp. What? what? Nani? Lycan? What is this hero? Look how small he is. He's like a small child out there. Oh, yeah, you're right, Armel. Getting dope with the three Double sticky nade bombs. Yeah, I think one can't, both canceled, actually. Oh, that's minus 200 gold. Yeah, and or I think with this, Abed might want to get a little bit more aggressive, although the Firefly is down now. Five stacks of sticky nade bomb oh. and that last right click. This is a position one Dragon Knight. This is Gabby playing it. And I mean, do you think there's going to be any other kind of. Uh, you oh. see Ink Swell on. Okay, Good nice stun. Earth Spike there from Fly. Still going to take a lot of damage with its Arctic Still Burn dead. into the right clicks of the Wolves. And that is the first kill of the game going the way of TNC. Yeah, they, I they, thought he was just going to walk up. They, they needed that roll as the TP cancel, and do, they were doing a great job just pulling him away. I thought he was just going to follow up with a kick for the slow, and that they would get the, the job done, but... Well, oh, Abed, all right. Oh, that's a lot of damage, that's and kill. that's a big turnaround for TNC. Nope. I mean, you bite the Dragon Knight? That sounds kind of cool. I don't know. I, I Oh, no fly. fly. All right, he's dead. Yep, he doesn't have a spike. Echo Saber on that hero is really good. Armlet, Echo, AC, BKB. Those are the key items. And well, Fly's, Fly's going to be spotted out. Yeah, Dragon Tail is going to be applied to him. And in human form, Gabby. This might not be enough, though. Finally get him off just before the initiation from EG. Now, Flame Break to follow. Static Link is on Ice Ice Ice. Shapeshift. Has quite a bit of damage as a result. But yeah, Bach, you can, he just looks so much slower now that they reduced the move speed back to 550. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. I think the animations were made for something way higher. So we're going to see. The ink oh, swell. Oh, no. Yeah, not able to get off. 
with that those walls. And here's the jump in from Crit into the Flame Break as well. There's the Winter's Curse, but it looks like Boomy is likely going to fall here after he gets up one Splinter Blast. In the meantime, Tim's was being pressured by Crit, but after all that, only one kill. Very surprising. Inkswell, oh, no, not going to connect on Crit this time. Now, Bach no longer in, in his wolf form. Ice 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 does have Static Link. Not sure if they have any catch on top of this, though. So Fly actually be found out by the TA. That's a lot of damage. The Cyblist, man, he actually just got two shots. Crazy. But Bach continuing to get chased down with that Plasma Field. And EG net themselves probably a more important kill. Obviously, the for all intents and purposes, position one uh, Lycan. Now Abed and Arteezy, if this they can find this kill, this is an enormous stuff. kill going the way of EG. So they find the two main cores. The, the effect of going Glimmer is... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, jumping on to Gabby right now. Magnetizes the fly with Arteezy. He's going to get Dragon Tailed, but back into the pulse nobody he goes thanks to Abed's really flame good spell break. Casting from EG. Yeah, Winter's Curse not going to save his comrades. He's just going straight Dragon Lance. Was that Dragon Lance BKB? I think it was Deso BKB. So oh, he is going Dragon Lance. He gets his ult off. Looks like they can get the Dragon Tail off on Ice Ice Ice. He might be the sacrifice for EG. And Fly looks to be next with the Ink Swall on top of the Wolves. You can see how crazy of a combo that is. So with that Aegis, they're going to use it to uh, take that Tier 2 top, it looks like. Ice 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 and company oh, are in the area. Yeah, Bach pops his ult. You can see the initiation here onto the Dragonite with the Finger of Death. That's enough to take out oh my God, he's him immediately. Arteezy getting right clicked by Bach as the Pulse Nova trying to create a little bit of space with that Flame Break as well. But he's going to continue to get right click down. And a crit comes in. Double kill for Bach. Abed does TP out in time. This did cost a buyback on the Grimstroke, as Ice Ice Ice's TP will cancel thanks to that Boomy ult. And now he's just going to get cleaned up. So a three for two, I believe, with the buyback. Uh, the scan here. It's just another objective to, to try to build an advantage. Fireflies in. Blink in. Do they see Armel? They do finally. There's the lasso with the BKB applied. Looks like they'll be able to take him out. No Aegis, of course. Arteezy. On the backside here, we see the ink swell being used onto Bach. Looks like they'll be able to clean up Fly, so it's a one for one to start things out. It's very offensive in nature and offensive, depending on your perspective. And EG smoking up here, Abed with the Firefly. Gabby is going to be the initiation, but there's the Winter's Curse to stall him a little bit. Splitter is going to connect on the other side as Arteezy is now attacking his own teammate. Now they're going to apply all the pressure to TA as Crit jumps in, but finally the BKB is, is popped off. Arteezy now on the run with that Pulse Nova, getting right clicked down like none other by Bach but it is a trade for the TA, so one for one to start things out. And now TNC trying to find cover in their tier two tower. Gabby getting very low thanks to this Firefly. Abed is doing so much damage in these fights. Now he's just gonna jump in front of the tier three in a triple kill for Ice Ice Ice. So even if EG can't take Roche themselves, as long as they can prevent TNC from getting it. Right, oh, there's the initiation this time onto Bach. Oh, oh my man. god, the is getting destroyed by RML. Gets the Yules off just in time. Looks like there might be a trade. Basically the same trade as last time, the Lycan for the Lesh. Now uh, Crit gets off the dust as Ice 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 wants to continue on. And it looks like he's going to be able to get this successfully for now. As Fly comes in, has the mana drain. Looks like they're going to lose one more member. And they're going to jump in with that Magnetize. A triple kill for Crit as he's in the enemy base right now. Rolls out to safety. Has that Ghost Scepter in tow and looks like he's just fine. He's pretty good. At I mean, spirit. TNC, we get, I mean, two cores on each side dying here as uh, Grim takes a tumble now. Bit of distraction nice, nice tactics here. He's yeah. not expecting this at all. Yeah, not for now. They don't have the Bat Rider ult, obviously. Or you're trying to, they're not going to get vision there. The buyback now on the Grimstruck. We see the Winter's Ghost on the Ice 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 pops to BKB shortly after. Who is going to get the Roshan kill and all the goodies inside? It looks like the Aegis has been snapped from Armel, so EG will get credit for the kill, but not the Aegis itself. Now, who's doing all the damage? Now, Arteezy inside the pit, doing so much magic damage in there. Finally gets out here as we have Fly with that Finger of Death. Bach is going to be the first death, the main one for TNC, is the buyback now onto Lion. And Armel getting up to the high ground. Abed will get caught by that Dragon Tail. Finally brought down. Double kill for Armel. True. Everything got used, so... You, you used everything to break even, right? Oh boy, he's gonna get caught out here. There's the jumping from Gabby with that BKB and the Dragon form. Now the jumping from Kurt on the other side. Winter's oh. curse to follow. And it looks like Arteezy right. will be the first casualty here for EG. And Crit looks to be next. You can see the nullifier being used. So no more Ghost Scepters for you, says TNC. Into a nullifier. Do you like that? Do you just Not say you really force it? No. We see the jumping from Gabby. He's now big black dragon with that BKB. Arteezy. Well, he pops the blood, so he's healing quite a bit. There is that nullifier. Look at this thing go to work. My goodness. Arteezy is down in the fountain Double now. Double Dragon Tail coming up. 
Yep, Soulbind on the two. They're not able to combo with anything, but the right clicks are enough. Okay, Winter Scar's gonna hold this off for now. So First will be Lion. Yeah, Wyvern makes things very awkward indeed, but in the end, TNC clean up three. And they've come back with truly a vengeance. Yeah, they're not done yet. They have yeah. a trap in the base. They Absolutely. see crit. Absolutely, Gabby. Mishay on to crit. He's going to get blown up pretty fast here. Nullifier means you can't go scepter anybody, or E-Blade, I should say. Buys back into the game now. There's the Winter's oh, Curse again. that's a great curse, actually. BKB activated by Ice Ice Ice. Abed is actually going to die to his own teammates, basically. Ay, ay, ay. Double kill for Armel. And now crit again, the Nullifier applied. Just diebacks, and this looks like the beginning of the end for EG in game number two. Nice double flame break from Abed. They're trying to hold this. Arteezy with that Bloodstone healing up quite nicely. They did take out the Lycan. Gabby looks to be next. He's in his human form, so this is the time to kill him. TA in the meantime, they're getting burnt. Okay, double kill for Arteezy. They're actually turning this. Tim's in the meantime attempting to TP out. We'll get Hex, though. To be honest, I, I think that was what the we right call call. Yep, now it is. Oh, Tim's. All right, good. Fly, pops the Ghost Scepter for now. Yeah, but there's the Nullifier. And if, if anything, that's actually a good target. Grimstroke's actually be the first to fall here. Winter's Curse onto a couple heroes. Batrider with the BKB still activated. Getting beat down by his teammates along with the TA minus armor. That is enough to take Abed out of this game for two full minutes. Dragon Knight pops that BKB as Bach already has a double kill. EG kind of dropping like flies. They did get the support kills at the beginning, though. And Arteezy, all right, they're actually combining onto Armel. They find a third kill in this fight. Can they find more? Gabby blinks out with an overwhelming blink. Bach no longer in his Lycan form. Uses the nullifier. And it looks like he's going to be the fourth to fall. EG somehow coming back in this game. Refresher shard available. I mean, you played in the last major all-star matches. We're going to see the instant initiation from Gabby onto Batrider. Lincoln's is applied from his friend. BKB is popped. He gets the lasso off onto the TA. I'm not sure if EG actually wants to fight. All right, they finally jump in with that magnetize. But again, with all that magic resistance from Dragon Knight, not going to be able to take in anything. Abed buys back into the game. But look at this damage from Ice 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 onto Armel. Abed as well. Armel trying to stay alive here. Pops the refraction. It's going to get eaten through instantly. He might have to buy back as two more supports have died for TNC. And now with Arteezy, with that Diabolic Edict talent, they might go deep into the fountain here. They're gonna drag the Dragon Knight all the way down to the low ground. Do they have enough damage to actually take him out? The Cold Embrace will keep him alive for now. There's a Nullifier applied to Arteezy now. E-Blade from Crit, not gonna save him. Does have buyback, will expend it as well. And now EG on the run. Fly pops that Ghost Scepter. They're on the Nullifier again. This could be a kill onto the like, and this will be pretty big if he can get this last right click, but no. Looks like he See, will survive, because the Cold Embrace oh actually saves him. Ultra kill for Armel, and now this will be a dieback onto Arteezy if he ends up going down. You can hear the screaming in the background. A rampage for Armel! Good G -G. freaking lord! GG's are called, and this is gonna go to a game three. Holy Gaben, what a game. We didn't get the tier five items, but I, I'm pretty satisfied. This was uh, this was a nail biter. That was a crazy way to end that game. Like complete radio silence from both teams for like ten minutes, <laughs> yeah. and then suddenly you get like ten kills within the span of forty seconds. Well, they go for the bat rider into an abat. Okay, it, it is good for Timbersaw and Furion though traditionally, yeah. right? I mean, Ember, one of these heroes that I guess you even go flame guard in this lane. Go into the jungles. We're gonna see oh, this, this gear that you're talking about fly into the problem. tier one. Impetus to He's follow dead. and the enchant, and yeah, the tier one tower doing most of the damage. Probably be dead. Right? Yes, for sure. <laughs> so There's a big difference here with the uh, right. lion this time. Oh, oh, nice initiation onto Gabby in the bot lane. He's getting saved for now. Yeah, but ice, ice, ice next to the tree. So that whirling death pure damage is way too much to deal with. As crit tanking up the tower actually does oh, get off the wow. fairy fire, but still dies in the end. I think that for way too long. Yeah, oh, that great like surround by Arteezy here. Yeah. Nice skewer, though, skewer by Bach. Save. So Tim shall live through the day. Boom, in the meantime, now he's getting pressured by Ice Ice Ice. I mean, he's level four, has a couple levels in reactive armor. Has his tree ants out now, as uh, we see a hex in the bot lane from crit, but nothing will come of it. Although Ice 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 continuing just pressure, pressure, pressure. Has a whirling death. Don't think they're going to get the kill here, but he can tank all these creeps, and I mean, this is going to be an issue, especially with this siege here. Although it looks like the siege uh, will be aggroed by the tower eventually. I mean, Ice Ice Ice, he's getting a little bit low, but I feel like with one TP potentially on TNC side, they could potentially get this kill, but Ice 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 is not scared of anybody. Going on top of Winnie, there's the TP we're talking about. Crit, looks like the other TP from Arteezy now. They're gonna be able to clean up Gabby relatively easily. Now Ice Ice Ice, making some pressure from Tims. There's the Hex to counteract from Crit. And both Boomy and Tims are pretty low. Arteezy though takes an impetus to the back of the head. Looks like he's just gonna dodge this Earth Spike. Actually, the right clicks are enough for crit. This lane is just getting turned around big time in EG's favor. 
RP is available now for Mr. Magnus in that top lane. Fly covering the top lane at his bottom. Uh -oh. Oh, double remnant with the RTZ TP, but they can't really find the chains yet. Abed. Looks like with that ult from Arteezy is more than enough to net them a kill in the mid lane. And with that aphotic shield damage, ends up being a double kill. Now Gabby with the Eclipse, but a lot of it is being tanked by the Treants. Doesn't really matter. He finds the proc and the right clicks that he needs. And with the rotation of Bach, they get a double kill for <laughs> Boomy of all here. Uh, on the same path as last game where he went for the Itherlands and played more around his curse rather than the save. Armel showing himself here. Kind of a baby timber chain there. He gets his ult off for now. Armel, there we go with the cancel. Nice lasso. The and Boomy again, a dominating streak for him. He gets off the curse. It's only yeah. going to apply to the Lion for now. But here comes Abed from afar. Searing Did he chains. miss the chains? He didn't I, cast them. Yeah, he didn't cast them. But he's coming with the double remnant. Arteezy as well right. with that global TP. We saw this in game one. Cold Embrace is just going to delay the inevitable. So EG, despite losing Timbersaw, will get the mid laner. Yeah. Gabby uh, with the Mask of Madness. Abed's gonna, Abed is oh, here. He gets that's the Searing a lot of chain damage. off. Into the Slight wow. of Fist, my goodness, that actually is enough damage to get the kill. But here's the Winter's Curse into Lasso, into, yeah, everything. <laughs> like if he would have prioritized maxing both Impetus and... Yep. Ice, 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 Flame Break will bring him back into the Lasso and Eclipse. He is quite tanky, but not tanky enough. Arteezy gets a little bit of vision on Armel, but... Uh, I mean, and the other thing is getting these BKBs is Bok. Oh, gets the RP off after the Timber Chain back into him. Now Ice 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 is in a lot of trouble. Pops the Essence Ring. Timber Chain to the other side. Gets a Photic Shield. Good Looks save. like he is fine. That and is Abed is here as well train. with that Slight of Fist onto a couple of heroes. He's going to take a solo curse. Won't last particularly long. Gets the Remnant off in time. Crit with a nice Impale onto two. And there's the burst damage with the Timber Chain into the Impale. But there's the Eclipse to follow. Double kill for Arteezy to start this fight. It's both the Luna and Wyvern. Really, really bad. Yeah, he... They're going to find him. They see him, Sticky Napalm to start things out. Flame Break actually pushes him a little bit, pops his BKB, but of course there's the lasso into the right clicks of Gabby. Arteza gets off his ult, but that is just the He's Aegis. Reinforcements no are on the way. They're starting to connect here. There's Abed, there's the Eclipse, and yeah, Arteezy just getting decimated. Fly can't even get there in time. Pops his ult a little bit prematurely. Tries to get a Photic Shield onto Ice Ice Ice, but there's the RP. There is the cancel with the, the Photic Shield to follow. Now the Winter Scars onto two. Looks like they'll find Bach at the very beginning of this fight. Fight might actually extend here. 4v4 without their position one, Nature's Prophet. Abed still with that Flame Guard applied. Trying to chase somebody down in the meantime, but you see the Finger of Death used to take out Tim's. Gabby finds his escape inside the tree line. And now the chase looks like it's on Armel, but that Firefly is back up. And the Constellation for EG might just have to be booming. That went better for EG than I thought it would. They get a really good attack angle Ooh. by coming in behind. They see this with Night Vision. Could, could be in trouble. He's done. Yeah. Initiation there. But nice searing chains to stop him in place. But it's not going to matter. It'll still be the death of crit. So a 4v5 situation now as EG is on the run. Fly has to aphotic shield himself, which means RPing could be pretty value here. But there, Arteezy going to town onto Tim's to start this fight out. Bach already forced out by Abed. There's a Winter Scars that's going to be applied onto three heroes for EG. And Abed basically solo kills Bach and no RP even expended. Now, Ice Ice Ice, basically unkillable, is just going to go right into Gabby, who pops his BKB inside that Sprout. Blocked off now, has to TP out, will be successful. The question is, can EG find any more after this? Tim's getting chased. Will be connected on, and that should be the death of Tim. So a two for one. Easy target for Fly to, to shield, convincingly, but... Oh, Lucent Beam He's into in the Skewer, back into enemy lines. Fly. Are they going to leave him? Uh, they're kind of scared of EG getting some retribution here, but yeah. Looks like they'll find him in the end, but Ice 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 jumps in pretty deep. Impetus is there. Remember, no save now because Fly is dead, and this is going to cost Ice oh. Ice Ice his life. Uh, Luna is still one of the better carries at dealing with this, though. She gonna has to be there. So lay them down. Uh -oh. All right, they found Tim. Yeah, Tim's getting chased down. Oh my god, he's getting bursted like none other. Will survive for now, but then finally the Slight of Fist finishes him off. And there is the buyback on the Enchantress, but the RP on the two into the double skewer. The Satanic pop by Gabby as he pops that BKB, and now the lasso applied to Arteezy. Looks like he will finally go down. Does have buyback, and of course can TP back into this fight. Looks like Fly drops as well, so it's a two for one. And now the buyback's galore coming out. Arteezy's still holding on to his. Crit ends up finding his way to the grave. Does not want to buy back. It looks like EG maybe looking to back off here. But Abed's still aggressing. Illusion's still doing some damage to him. He has one remnant left. He's Let's jumping where he goes to. All right, He's attempting TP. to TP out with that sleight of fist. Right. It is enough. And that is a very one fight for EG. 
Yep. Gabby. Looks like he's getting caught out now. Ice 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 is there. Nice and pale from Crit. You can see the Daedalus is actually being picked up as Bach. Skewers Crit back in, but there's the Finger of Death. Luna shall survive for now. Abed trying to chase him to buy back onto Arteezy, so using it now. Gabby trying to find an avenue in which to get out. He's going to get stuck inside Sprout. Pops the BKB, attempting to TP out. A nice skewer from Bach to save his Luna, but he won't be able to save himself. A double kill for Abed. Or is that the attributes? I can't remember. No, it's uh, attributes, I think. Ex Machina gives the armor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Deso 2, perhaps. Oh, I'm hearing a hex. Oh, Crit. Crit. And this actually pops the RP onto two heroes. Looks like Magnus is going to die right off the bat, though. There's the Eclipse. It's the Aghanim's one, so it's going to deal extra damage. Cheese is popped by Ice Ice Ice, but he's continuing to get beamed down by this Eclipse. Finally, the Winter's Curse comes out. Buy back onto the Magnus. Nobody has died for EG yet, as Bloodstone is popped on the meantime onto Ice Ice Ice. Oh my god, the blink crit actually disjoints that. Tim's goes down. This will provide another buyback opportunity for oh, TNC. EG still not able to get much else out of this as Luna. Okay, that is a buyback now. EG is actually not losing anybody in this fight. Abed in the meantime has his remnant out. It's walking up very slow to the high ground. We'll make it in time. It it sound, I feel like chalk double chalk. Oh, he already has that. He bought it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well. Oh. We'll see. This is going to cost confident. a buyback on the Gabby for sure, but it's going to be a 4v5 regardless. Finger of Death finishes off Boomy. Does have buyback Last and the Winter's Curse removal. still. There you see the double Chakram. They have to save Gabby. This is their entire team right now. But in the meantime, they're going to focus on the Enchantress. That is a dieback onto Tim's. Bloodstone popped by Ice 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 inside the Sprout. Gabby able to get out in time. Winter's Curse not really doing too much. Looks like they all survived through this. And this is still five members of EG alive and healthy. And they could just go for Throne now. I don't even know if they go for Megas at this point, knowing that there's a dieback, although Magnus is coming up in 10 seconds. And look at how much space Ice 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 can provide. And they're just pounding into this Rax. This is going to be Mega Creeps at the very least. But there's the Skewer back. Can they kill Arteezy? Pops the BKB still. Has Satanic, has Aegis, has literally everything online. Three dead for TNC. All their hopes and dreams were on Gabby, but he just could not provide enough damage. And they just focus on everybody else instead. And EG will continue on in the tournament. TNC eliminated. What a freaking game. Arteezy in the fountain. Looks like they're going to clean up everybody. GG's are called. I told you Woo! it would go past 60 minutes. I knew Thanks it. Thanks for jinxing it, Cinder. You are very welcome. Always. I hate you. Man, that was, that was so sudden. They just find this one moment, and that's late game Dota for you right there. Like, when, when the heroes get this crazy, when you get this far, all of a sudden, all it takes is that one key moment, and EG, yeah, EG, they find it. They, I, I think in the end, what came back to bite uh, TNC a little bit in this game, or a lot, is lack of damage, right? It's the Luna. The Luna is doing all of the attacking. Magnus is full utility. Batrider is falling off in the late game and didn't really manage to find the grabs he wanted. Ah!